all the goodies in to share with you. There's a lot. And I'm bleeding. Adrenaline is pumping so hard, I don't even feel it. I tried to set up a backdrop for you. It didn't work out. <laughs> but I will put this there. So the other day, I realized, oh my goodness, Easter is like tomorrow. I have zero things for their Easter baskets. So I ordered a bunch of stuff off Amazon in a frantic. And then I took my happy bum to the store and tried to see what I could supplement from there, candies and whatnot. And then, of course, I am obsessing over decorating the new rooms in our house, so I got a few things for there. And then I went to the thrift store to get Easter baskets. It's a snowball effect, okay? So I actually have a ton to share with you today, I feel like. It's a whole spring haul, but the first thing I'm gonna share with you are all of the goodies that, well, not all of them, whatever I got from Amazon, mostly Easter basket finds. Some really cool, unique things that I'm like, hey, why didn't I think of that? Oh, wait. I did. <laughs> Maybe with a little help from the people of Instagram. So I'm gonna turn the fan on. Maybe put a tourniquet on my finger to stop the bleeding. <laughs> and we'll go from there. Good. Hair could be better. It's unbrushed, but I did put eyeshadow on for you. Who is she? It's ColourPop. I thought I would get in the spirit with you. The springtime spirit. <gasps> oh my gosh. Exciting things. And I'm missing a bag. Maybe? I don't know. I got some bathing suits. I don't know if I'm gonna share those with you. We're going to the beach for the first time this year, this weekend. I'm gonna have to really pick my favorite bathing suit. The one I had last year doesn't fit me. Oh, books. As I take it out of the bag, I should really organize it into like for each child, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. And also, I am wanting to organize everything because I don't think I got many things for my oldest. Okay, I think this is all from Amazon. Wait, my favorite thing that I was the most excited to show you isn't here, hold on. Oh look, it is. Guess where it was? Last place I looked, that's right. So, it looks unassuming in the plastic packaging but it's actually pretty cool. Let me figure out how to use it. Okay, I don't know if I need to put ink in it or whatever, but it's this really nifty tool, and if you have a kid learning, oh my gosh, it comes with extra ink, but essentially, like you can just make your own pages like this, and then, you know, write in it. It's handwriting lines, handwriting tool, this, is amazing. I thought that would be really cool when we practice letters or practice spelling or whatever. Will she be excited to see this in her Easter basket? Questionable, but I'm definitely excited to see it. Ooh, wait a minute here. I know I'm missing an Amazon package because these are paint pens, acrylic paint markers. There's 24 in here, 24 colors. These were a pretty penny, but for Easter, we're hosting an event. This could be for the Easter basket or just a good general craft for the kids any time of year. But this is for like the stones. I bought a ton of pebbles, a ton. Like the good size pebbles or stones, whatever the heck they're called. And my kids just always have a field day with this. I'll just put it out for Easter and the kids will go ham, like just decorating their own stones. It's really low parent involvement, which is what I'm all about when it comes to like crafts and stuff, especially when there's a lot of people here. The kids can have fun, the parents can have fun, and it's kind of like unsupervised kind of fun. Ooh, this was another cool find. Some of the coolest things I find are from Life with Lainey on Instagram. She is like my internet bestie that doesn't even know I exist. But she finds the coolest things. She must just spend her day scrolling Amazon. But this is a bubble bestie. This is for Wolfgang. So sometimes it's really hard to find gifts for the little ones. So he is almost a year and a half, which is, oh my gosh, insane. The days are long, but the years are short. and. It actually says it's for 36 months and above, but I think he's gonna have fun with this. You just add soap and blow, and it just makes bubbles. I, they may have had different animals in this, but I got the elephant one, and I just thought that was so dang fun. I've been really trying to expand his bath time play, and I think I'm doing a really good job on that. We have like bath cubes, those are really great. Those would be great for Easter gifts. I gave it to them for Valentine's Day. Oh, the bubble machine in the bathtub, they love that. It makes music, so sometimes they don't love the music, but the baby always does. And I got something else for their bathtub. 
I don't know, I've been getting different things and they have been enjoying every second of it. This is another one for Meredith. And what got me on this, this is the Dorables. She loves Dorables. She had adorable advent calendar for Christmas. Love it. She just loves the little figurines. She likes Disney. What got me to buy these on Amazon is that they had Wally, -E, a little Wally -E Dorable, and I was like, oh, I hope she gets a Wally -E Dorable. She's been watching Wally -E lately, and it that movie was ahead of its time. I'm just going to say that. Xenon Girl of the 21st Century could never. But I thought this was really cool. So she'll be excited to open that. Another great one for the kids, we actually had slash have some of these. I think I got rid of them because through the years, we've had them for, oh gosh, I don't know, eight plus years. And they just get old and worn. Things don't last forever these days. Nothing is made that way. But this is a card holder. I'll show, I'll take the packaging off so you can see what it looks like. But essentially, it's for when you're playing card games with kids. It's a little flap in here. And so their little hands, it's sometimes hard for them to like hold all the cards, right? And they spill over or they don't know what they have. So this, you just put the cards in here and they can just easily hold it. And it's so great for little hands. It's literally the original little hands card holder. That's so funny. So I got um, a few of those for the little ones. Oh my goodness. You know what got me the other day? We were upstairs doing crafts, coloring, painting, whatever. And you know, I'm just up there doodling. I went to the thrift store and you know how they have those like packages of art supplies? Well, in one of them, they had like rainbow pencils. And I thought, okay, those are very gold. So I put them in with the other colored pencils. Well, the other day I actually used one for the first time blow me over with a feather if it wasn't the coolest thing I've ever used in my entire life. So I ended up buying more of them. I literally do, I was writing everyone's name. I was writing paragraphs. I wrote a whole dissertation. Because writing with these, it was just so much fun. And so I thought, you know what would be a great addition? because I pretty much went through a whole pencil and we only have two of them, so I thought we definitely need more. This would be great for their Easter baskets. There's 30 in a box, in this box anyway. Maybe they come with different uh, sizes, but I will say they did come in a couple of different colors. One was black, like the pencil was actually black, but I feel like the colors of the thing were different too, so check those out if you're interested. Another one was this Melissa and Doug sticker pad. I love these sticker pads. I think they're fantastic. They keep the kids busy, entertained, also kind of a hands-off activity. Do you know what I mean? I got a lot of kids. I can't be hovering over each and every single one of them while they do their fun things. So it comes with different pages inside and also different stickers, all kinds of adventures, over 300 full color stickers and 14 scenes to color. And what I like about this is that you can, they have animals and then you like match them. So all kinds of fun wrapped into one little activity pad there. I love Melissa and Doug toys slash activities slash all the things. Always have, probably always will, they're a fantastic brand. Speaking of all of the dark marker colored pages that I bought, why did I go ham on this? You know why? It's not even here. I don't know where it is, but I bought from the thrift store the dot markers for like $2.99, a whole bin of them. I was like, this is the find of the century. If you have dot markers, you know how expensive they are, okay? And so I thought, well, they do dot art. I give them pages, like blank pages, but I thought, you know what would be great? Coloring books, just for the dots. So this is the unicorn dot activity book. I'll give you a example of some of the coloring pages there. So you can see like the dots on there. Fun. Maybe it didn't focus on the page. Maybe it focused. Here's the second one that I got. I thought this would be for Wolfgang a little easier, right? A couple of pages in here too. Super cute. Shapes, colors, all the good stuff. Oh, here's one. This will be for Meredith. It's uh, dots, but learning ABCs. Oh, M for Meredith. Ugh, that was unintentional, but awesome. So each page has a letter, and I just thought that was super fun. And then these are a 100 dot marker activity book. Cool. Oh, this is the one where you, did I mean to buy both of these? I don't know. But you do the letter, and then you go ahead and like write it down below. Practice your writing and all that great stuff. So, so far, nothing for the big kids, great. I also got these, so these are for all of the kids. I got these from Amazon, and the other day, I don't know where I was, TJ Maxx or somewhere, TJ Maxx. They had a whole, like, uh, you know how they sell these Zuru bunch of balloons? My kids love these, and they're so fantastic. Gone are the days of literally spending two hours just tying 
water balloons at the faucet, trying to put it around the faucet. How many water balloons got broken because you're trying to fill them with water around the sink faucet, you know what I mean? Our kids' generation will never understand the true struggle of water balloons. Thanks to Zuru Bunch of Balloons, and a huge thanks to them for sponsoring. I'm just kidding, they're not sponsoring me, but I do love them that much. They have sponsored me before, and boy, did we have fun. These are 100 come in each one, and 100 go real fast. But anyway, I was at TJ Maxx the other day, and they had a whole honking thing, and I said, oh, I just got some off Amazon, but really I should have bought them because at TJ Maxx, things are like a little better of a value. I don't know why I left it behind. You know why? Because I had, my cart was full. I had like tables and you'll see what I bought, got from TJ Maxx. I got like big items that was filling up my cart, but I digress. Actually, okay, I did get a lot of stuff for the kids there. Maybe too much stuff. It's like Christmas 2.0. I got a problem. But also it's like fun and functional. The kids can have fun with these. I don't know if I'm gonna be putting all of this in their Easter baskets, but they will be using all of this. I also got some hair bows. Uh, maybe too, too many? I don't really know. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I mean, I do, but I don't. I got some hair bows for Eleanor. Finally, an item for the bigger kids. Oh, and if I didn't mention, you're probably not new and you already know, but my kids' ages are 13, nine, seven, four, one. Nailed it. So for my, nope, I missed one. Nine, did I say nine? She's not nine, she's 10. Let me try again. <laughs> it's close enough. This is for the 10 year old, Eleanor. She is preppy, I guess, if you wanna label her aesthetic. She loves all the like girly things and she likes hair ties and hair bows and all that stuff. So uh, hair bows are the thing that's going around if you didn't know. She hasn't been asking for them, but I know that she would like them. And I thought these were really cute. I saw them on Amazon. The, I got a pink and white. The ones that I wanted were really out of stock. And I said, okay, I'll settle for these. And then I guess this is cream and black. So she's gonna have an assortment of hair bows. And I guess I got even more, oh, okay. These are different. These are like the skinny little hair bows. Oh my gosh, that's why I started looking for them because Avelina, I took her bathing suit shopping and she was asking me a bunch of questions and then she said, mom, do you know what croquet is? That's not what it is, croquet. Croquette, is that it? She started talking about croquette and I was like, what the heck is croquette? I still don't know what it is, but she so showed me a picture with like hair bows. It was like a dog with hair bows or something or a rabbit, I don't know. But I thought, oh, those hair bows are really cute. <laughs> okay, the last thing I got from, no, another one I got from Amazon. I got a bathing suit. This is actually my favorite bathing suit. I bought this a few years ago, three, maybe more years ago. It is the highest rise bathing suit bottom I could find. They also, um, I think last year I got my bathing suit bottoms from, I can't remember the brand, Coral Reef. I don't know how I remembered that, but I did. You gotta exercise your brain sometimes. Coral Reef is where I got them and they have really high rise bottoms too, which were really nice. But these were my favorite. I have these in black that I got years and years ago. But these keep you like sucked in and it comes up so high. Cause I have a really high belly button. I don't know if that's an abnormal thing to have, but it's really high and I don't want like my belly button hanging out. I don't know. It's just a thing that I have. So I like to keep it covered and this does the trick. So anyway, I ended up getting a really cute top from Target and I thought, you know, it would be fun if I had purple bottoms to go along with it. So uh, if these end up working out, if I keep the, I'll show you the bathing suits that I got. Anyway, it came with a top too, but the top isn't my favorite. It's really nice, but it's like not my favorite. I do love a monochromatic look. And then this is the last thing that I got from Amazon. This will be for Wentworth and it is Stomp Rocket. We've had one of these before and I'm actually surprised at how much the kids love this thing. And it's so simple. Again, another hands-off activity for the parents. They can just hang back and watch the kids enjoy a little, a fun steam activity. It encourages exercise. It's great outdoor fun. It limits screen time. All that in one little box. It's a gravity trajectory force and power of air in this little doohickey. So I don't even know if I was showing you the right side of the box. 
It's this little pump, they jump on it, you stack a little foam rocket on top, they jump on it, and it flies, they have fun, they go run and get it, they have, I have two more things from Amazon, I just remembered, I have to go get them, we opened them yesterday, but anyway, they have competitions, like whose can go the farthest, who can go the high, do you know what I mean? It's good, clean fun for the whole family. Let me go grab what I got yesterday. So, there were two things that came in the mail, I can't remember one thing, but I, I, I don't know if it was for the Easter baskets, or for me, even. But this, oh my heck, can I tell you? Okay, so a lot of the times we'll go down, uh, we have like sand down in our backyard and Alex will make obstacle courses for the kids and we'll sit there with our phones and like do the whole, okay, now you go and then we'll time them and see who does it the fastest. It, it's good, clean fun. Are we breeding competitors? Maybe. So anyway, we always have our phone and then we have to screenshot it and you know, we write on it who did what time and all that stuff. So I thought, you know it would be fun if the kids had some stopwatches. What? Why didn't I think of this years ago? Because we've been doing this for years. We go to the playground and we'll make obstacle courses. Okay, you go up this way and then slide down and we'll see who does it the fastest, right? They, do, they go one at a time so there's no running into each other and all that good stuff. Also teaches them patience teaches them a lot of things okay but anyway so I found on Amazon they come in different packages so like you can get a pack of two but then you can spend like one more dollar and get a pack of 16 I'm just kidding there's six in here but you catch my drift I have five kids will Wolfgang use it no but inevitably one will get lost or whatever so I just love the idea of these I thought these this is so much fun they're going to just use these in such a variety of ways Another kind of like open-ended toy, which is kind of my favorite. Okay, what to show you next? There's so much. Okay, I will say, I went to the thrift store the other day. I was actually in the area because I was, uh, I just was. And I was passing the thrift store, my favorite one, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna hop inside. There's a hair. I'm just gonna hop inside and grab Easter baskets, and that's it. I literally walked out with Easter baskets and one thing, I don't know where it is. I'll eventually show you. Oh, and I got a wall basket too. But all of these things, like this was a dollar for a basket. So yes, my kids have Easter baskets. I even splurged a couple of years ago and got their names on like a little wooden sign to put on their Easter baskets, which actually is important to decipher whose basket is who. But here's my dilemma. I put their stuff in their Easter baskets and then what do they hunt eggs with? And that was my dilemma. So I knew I needed to buy new, more Easter baskets for them. I found a ton of them at the thrift store. They ranged from a dollar to two dollars, which is just crazy sauce. Okay, this one was $2.99, so a little bit more, but this one is probably the biggest. I tried to find bigger ones because when my kids are running around, this is how they run looking for eggs. I'm like, what? And then they get upset that their eggs fall out of the basket. I'm like, dude, like, Calm down. So I tried to find bigger ones. So this was like $1.99. This was $1.99. It's just crazy sauce. So of course the kids will have fun, like, you know, picking out whatever basket they want to hunt eggs with. So I got five. And I was like, that's a lot of baskets. And then I realized I got a lot of kids. So while I was at the max, ooh, I told you guys I got this a while ago. Oh my gosh, it was on clearance. It makes it even better. It makes it even better. If you haven't noticed, lately, I've been trying to find whatever's pulling asunder. It's got a hole and really making me wonder what it takes to push through. I gotta stick with you and my baby. Baby, tell me. Vanity Kane, anyone, come on. Have you noticed that I have nail polish that isn't chipped on my nail? It's been a thing lately. I bought a gel nail polish kit I don't know, a couple of months ago, and I don't wanna be dramatic or anything, but it has changed my life. It's just so ridiculous. I have been enjoying it, but lately it has become increasingly harder to get my nail polish off, the gel nail polish off. And I think it's because of a couple of things. I think I prep my nails really well. So this time around, I didn't prep my nails really well. So I'm gonna, cause I have naturally like more oily nails. So some, most of the time they just peel off and I have no problem. 
But someone suggested, because last I spent like an hour trying to get the nail, gel nail polish off and it just was not for me. Someone suggested I get a kit like this off Amazon where you like put a cotton ball and it kind of, it's like a clip, keeps the cotton ball on your finger. So it's like, you know, breaks down the nail polish. This is so cool. I can't believe that it was $4 and 50 cents and it came with all the accoutrements I almost got one off Amazon, but it was more than $4.50, and I thought, ugh, whatever, I'd rather spend an hour trying to just chip it off. So I'm glad that I found that. I also grabbed these. I don't know if this will go in Wolfgang's, Wolfgang is my baby, who's my one and almost a half year old, or should I say 17 months? Not sure if we'll bust this open on our first beach trip or if I'll save it for the Easter basket. Not that he's going to care. We might as well use it. Do you know what I mean? So this will probably come with us this weekend and it was $8. It, again, I mean, Melissa and Doug, they know what they're doing. They make some of the coolest toys for kiddos. And so what is this, like a cookie sheet set? How funny is that? Is the sand going to stay together? No but my kids will have fun with it nonetheless. And then for Wentworth, because he has like almost nothing, I asked all the kids like, hey, what do you want in your Easter basket? And uh, Wentworth only said candy. <laughs> and I was like, done, I can do that. But while I was at uh, TJ Maxx, I found this and I just thought, oh, I think he'll like that a lot. And he's growing out of like all of his clothes, which is just crazy. I try to keep up. I feel like I just bought him a bunch of new shorts and stuff. Oh, pants and pants, it's not time for pants anymore, it's time for shorts. So he is in need of a lot more clothes. Oh my gosh, should I get this too? For who? For Wolfgang, how funny, look how dang cute. I actually went to One Spawn Child the other day because I realized literally all of Wolfgang's clothes, like I couldn't button them, he's just busting out of them. Okay, so I went to Once Upon a Child, literally got him an entire new wardrobe, so that was fun, but that'll be a great addition to it. Oh, super cute, a book. This is for really both of the little kids, the one-year-old, the four-year-old, and um, Meredith is really into the Very Hungry Caterpillar lately because she was the Very Hungry Caterpillar slash butterfly during a school performance, and it was just the time of her life. This is a forest hide and seek book, and I thought it was a, a good little spin on the Very Hungry Caterpillar, so she'll enjoy that. Oh, and then a little hair tie for Eleanor's Easter basket. It does have peeps on it. I actually didn't know that I bought this, so I'll, I gotta smell this. I think she'll enjoy that, wearing that to school just for the season and stuff, and she loves peeps, unlike her mother. Okay, this, I would like to eat pronto. I don't know when it happened, but I started to become, I don't want to say obsessed because I know that word is overused. I started to become highly interested in lotion, mostly because I don't really wear perfumes a lot, but I do wear lotion. Like you got to hydrate my alligator skin over here. And philosophy has really fun, interesting scents. And at TJ Maxx, they're semi-affordable. Like this was $10 compared to what I'm sure it costs from like QVC or whatever. It says compare at 15. I don't really know. But this is lemon custard. Yes, please. Oh, I could just eat it up. I gotta do the other arm too. It smells fantastic. It doesn't smell, it kind of has like a sweetness, I guess, but more lemony. I'm just ready for summer. Holy crap, that's going in mom's Easter basket. The first thing for Avelina's, I feel like she has so much. I've been taking her shopping lately, so she has been getting, she's got everything. I don't know what I'm gonna put in her basket, but I found this and I just thought, oh my gosh, she would love this. She loves dogs. And it kind of looks like my favorite dog, like the Lady and the Tramp dog. What is that? Cocker Spaniel dog. Oh, I love those. They're not hypoallergenic, so we will never be able to get one. My heart is broken. Let the tears flow, but also I'll get over it, right? That's for her. I don't know how this ended up in the cart. It's Jacqueline Hill's, what is it? Brightening and setting palette. I think I got it because I'm just having trouble, like this is really the only, well today I went like all out with the makeup, but really I only put concealer here. I don't have like, I have like blush on, but I don't have a base on, if that makes sense. So I really only powder under my eyes, but the powder that I have is like two shades darker than, you know? And so I was looking for something like this, so hopefully that helps, I don't know. And then, all right, back to the toys. I got this book for the little baby, and I just thought this was so dang cute. Would it, would it have been more beneficial for me to separate it? Probably. Oh well, I didn't. You know, by age, whatever. 
So this, we all know the classic brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And this is panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. And I thought, wow, so innovative, so eye-catching, so incredible. The animals are so rare. Buffalo, not only a buffalo, a water buffalo. Water buffalo, water buffalo. I see a spider monkey, yes please. I see a green sea turtle. All of these new animals that we're going to learn because of Eric Carl and Bill Martin Jr. This is not only a penguin, it's a macaroni penguin. I'm learning right alongside my 17 month old. I see a red wolf. Ooh! Isn't this incredible? Did you know that this existed and I'm just like horrible? I'm a horrible parent. Dreaming child? Not gonna lie, that's a little creepy. Okay. Okay, they could have left that one out, if I'm being honest. All right, well, since I didn't buy enough for my 17-month-old, this is literally like a everything I got my 17-month-old. I got him a Melissa and Doug wooden instrument set. Who doesn't need a pair of maracas or some cylinders? What are those called? The tambourines? You know what got me was the kazoo down here. I mean, come on. Seven classic instruments in here. And he is starting a band. I don't know if I told you that. Okay, this is for my 200 month old and she will be getting a Melissa and Doug Fun at the Fair. I thought this was so cool. Fun at the Fair penguin launch. Like what? I've never seen this before. They have a whole set of like Fun at the Fair things. I saw a few of them at TJ Maxx. This was obviously the one that I chose. And you know what? She's gonna have a lot of fun with this. So you put the, you plop like penguins on here, you launch them and try to get them on the pads. Apparently that's how you play. I've never played before. On to some candy. I found this at Home Goods. Wait, did I? No, this is still TJ Maxx. So these are eggs. I don't know. I'm just gonna throw some eggs in their baskets and stuff. Chocolate eggs. And then I got these gummies for my brother. I have to add that to his package that I have to send out. I also went fancy on the Easter candy because I need my kids to grow up with a sophisticated palate <laughs> as they're in the corner like eating talkies, right? So these are chocolate eggs. I hope they're hollow on the inside, but they were $13. Tell me why, tell me why. Why did I spend $13 on a bunch of chocolate eggs? Well, they are superior. Actually, have you guys seen the movie Wonka? That's pretty good. We watched a uh, family movie night last night. We watched the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. My kids loved it, it was fantastic. And then some Easter bunnies too, some chocolate. Hopefully these are hollow as well. They feel pretty hollow. Hollow chocolate Easter bunnies. I don't know you guys, I have a lot to think about. I got a lot to think about. What I was gonna say is we have an Easter event and I'm trying not to like go overboard with things that I'm getting for that. I'm like, mm, should I? Could I? Yes, but should I? Mm, I don't know. Is it necessary? I'm just trying to keep it low key as much as I can. These are for the kids, freeze dried candy. Hopefully they'll share all of these. And when I say candy, I mean like it's a knockoff Skittle situation. We'll see. I think my kids like those. It's always fun to try. I know um, Etsy shops sell those. What the heck is in here? I'll never know. This is a panettone in lemon. It's an Italian bread, perfect for Easter. Also lemon because classic flavors. And I thought, you know what? Could I make it? Yes. Will I is the real question. And the answer to that is no. One day I will when I'm not in such a busy season. One day when I don't have, oh yes, now I remember. A 17 year old crawling up my legs whenever I'm in the kitchen. Okay, I also got these frames. I got a lot of frames. And I actually didn't realize that I got so many frames. For my office, so I have like two frames on my desk but I have five kids, so I'm like, okay, I need a couple more frames. And plus I have a husband, he's like, where's my picture? I'm like, we have a family picture. It's not good enough for anyone. So I figured I'd get a couple more frames for my desk area situation. So here they are. Now I just have to get photos for them. Wish me luck. So that's it from TJ Maxx. I also got that pedestal table from TJ Maxx. 
I just, you know, I'm trying to decorate and stuff. It's harder than it looks I'm not, and more expensive. <laughs> I'm trying my best to buy everything secondhand and I feel like I'm doing a very good job, but some things like people want to sell that secondhand for more than I can buy it at TJ Maxx for. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it, it can be a little ridiculous. And then this is a planter and I thought, well, that is beautiful. I, <laughs> I'm trying to fill my house up with plants. Um, it, the rule of thumb is one one plant per every 100 square feet of your house. Simple, right? I also feel like that's a little bit dramatic, but that's what I read. So I'm just trying to get some stuff to like put plants on so they're not on the floor. And I found this table and this was $30. And I was like, well, people on Facebook Marketplace are trying to sell this exact table for $65. And they live in a part of town where I never go to. So I thought this was a find and a half. Those are so cute, I'm gonna put them over here. I'm glad we're doing this because now I can really visually see, Avelina's Easter basket is empty. <laughs> I can see which children are needing a few more things for their basket. However, I did get a peep lollipop, or what are they calling these? Rainbow pop, but I got one for each child. Even the baby, and I did regret my decision of doing that, but what is he gonna do? Sit there and scream while everyone else is eating their peep lollipop? It's just something that I don't really wanna deal with on Easter morning, so yeah. Will he eat the whole thing? No. But he will enjoy a couple lickings of it, so I thought those were, those were fun. I don't, peeps are the worst. I'll just leave that right there. You know what's not the worst? Did I buy them? Yes. Racy's. Racy's are the best. Everyone loves Racy's, unless you're allergic to peanut butter and then whatever. These are miniature bunnies. Are they wrapped? Oh, they are wrapped, annoying. I also found other Racy's candies. They have like Racy's eggs. Like not a Cadbury egg, but more like a, oh, I guess they are Cadbury. The Cadbury mini eggs, like the molted eggs which I don't even like these. Are these malted crisp sugar shell? I remember eating one of these a couple of years ago, which sounds ridiculous, probably three, four years ago. And I remember eating way too many. Here's the fun part where you can make like Easter treats out of them. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll do that. I have done that in the past too. Did I eat handfuls of these? Did I like them? Or did I eat them because they were there? That's the problem. Oh, this is also for Avelina's Easter basket. She's so hard to buy more, but I know she loves these chocolate covered freeze dried strawberries. What was that beep? Probably a stopwatch. Oh, I also got toothpaste, not for the Easter basket. I got four of these actually, because my kids are running low on toothpaste and I have had such a large supply. Oh, oh, new look. Okay, I was gonna say, I've had such a, a back stock of it. I didn't even know they changed their tube. I initially was looking and I was like, oh my gosh, they don't even sell their toothpaste anymore. No, they just have a different color on the tube. And then of course, it's not Easter unless you're dying some eggs. I think we skipped this last year and I kind of feel regret. Maybe we did it after Easter. I also kind of feel like we didn't. I don't know, you guys, when you're surviving, you just miss some things. And I have to be okay with that, and I am, kind of. But this year, hopefully, we get to it. I got three sets of those, and I also feel like, because when you have five kids, listen, just get it done, you know? It's a mess, and you just do it. Dying eggs is such a process of like, okay, now let it sit for two minutes. Two minutes. I also feel like I have a cake mix that I bought last year, icing with sprinkles, like the whole kin caboodle. You know what I found in my pantry while I was cleaning it out? A set of Valentine's Day, or maybe they were spring, cookies, sugar cookies to decorate, like that came in a box kit. Never did it. Say la vie. Okay, speaking of Melissa and Doug and how I love them, the wooden toys, these are, this is a pizza. I actually found this at the thrift store. I wanna say it was $5. Was Red Tag half off? I don't know. But even if it wasn't, $5 is a screaming deal for like a wooden pizza playset. Do you know what I mean? And all the pieces are here. They're not, it's not missing any pieces of pizza, which ours was missing like three. And it wasn't even, we had the, like the Velcro plastic pizza. It was great, my kids loved it, but 
I, at a certain point of time, I was decluttering their kitchen. I was like, let's get, it doesn't even have all the pieces, get rid of it. And that was probably a year ago, so they've been without pizza. They love serving pizza to their customers. So I got that, found that at the thrift store. I also found a life vest. This is great. $5 for this, screaming deal. It's Speedo. And I'm decorating Wolfgang's room. Hopefully next week is when I'll start that project. I mentally am already like, I don't know, because I know that it's going to take a lot of time. It's things that I've never done before, so I'm just very hesitant about starting. But once I start, like, you just gotta do it, right? And so anyway, I got some baskets for a hit. And now that I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I don't even like the color, but you know what? The price was right at $1.99. What's in here? Oh, okay, so we were upstairs playing the other day, and we have had a vet center for the kids since Avelina was two, so like 11 years. And that thing has stood the test of time. It's so incredible. This is the B brand toys. It's like a B and dot. It's incredible. But we lost the, the keys. And that was the most fun thing to do with them. Close the animal inside and unlock it and all that fun stuff. We lost the keys since we've been in this house. So we've kept the keys through a couple of moves and I don't know what's happened to them. They clearly got thrown away because they are not in our home. When we were switching rooms, I tried to look for them, couldn't find them. So I finally said, let's get rid of this one. We need a new one. This was on sale. Sometimes I find these at the thrift store, but obviously they don't have all the pieces. So this one was on sale at Target and I said, time to strike. It comes with an animal. I don't know what animal that is. It looks like a cat or a fox or something. Oh, two animals. And it comes with like a stethoscope. It's like a vet center. And ours is only has four doors. I guess this is the new one, it has six. So the kids are gonna be really excited about this. I don't know when I'm gonna give it to them or if I'm just gonna put it in their playroom to replenish their missing toy as if they don't have other toys to play with. And while I was at Target, I was, you know, going around looking at all the summer stuff and actually what was on my list of things to buy is a new soccer ball because we only have one at a time and it just broke. And so they were in need of another soccer ball. Someone explained to me the different sizes. My kids love playing soccer. I love watching them play soccer. It's something they do together. When their friends come over, they play soccer. It's just so much fun. It gets them outside. So I'm going to let them enjoy that as much as they can before the summer heat starts because then we're like trapped inside and it's a whole thing. It makes me want to pool and that's a story for another day. But I ended up getting a soccer ball. But while I was in the summer section, I saw these. And Meredith has been loving skating. She really loves the whole process of like putting on all the pads and then getting in the skates. She doesn't have a pair of skates that really fit her. She can't really do it on her own because they're, anyway. So I thought these would be perfect for her. And I think she's gonna like cry when she sees these. Cry from excitement. But I do have some thrifted items in here that I thought, okay, I know I got some stuff for the kids. It'll be good for their Easter baskets or whatever. Maybe I'll just give them to them. This is, again, Melissa and Doug. I got these thrifted. I don't remember if they were $1.50 or $3. I got them a while ago. Shapes, numbers, and colors, it's Water Wow. And you know, you just practice your shapes, numbers, and colors with a little water pen in there. It's basically brand new. Oh, I also found goggles, a great thrifted find for $4 slash $3, I don't know. I know some of this stuff was on sale. Twistable colored pencils, a gem and a half to find, especially at the thrift store. Bathtub finger paint, washable crayons for a dollar. Like these are pricey at the normal grocery store. And then uh, this is for Alex. We got him because he loves toothbrushes. I don't know why, but he loves them. Whenever we have kids spend the night and they, you know, a lot of times they need a toothbrush, so we like to have a back supply of this. And I found this at the thrift store and I said, oh, will snatch that, thank you. Those are the thrifted finds. And then the only thing left I have to share with you are the bathing suits that I got. And then also I found this. I don't even know if I love the smell of it. Hold on. So I saw a perfume, Pure Grace with a pop of sun. I was like, yes, that explains me to a T. I'm gonna have to see. I can't really put my, I thought it would be like a coconutty. I'm glad that it's not. Let me see what it smells like. Ooh! I really like that. It's not coconutty at all, but very lovely. It's like a lovely pop of sun. How do they do that? I really like it. I don't know what the notes are, 
Oh, love this. It's Firming Body Emulsion. Again, this is the brand Philosophy. And not to brag or anything, but I've been putting lotion on every day, which honestly isn't always the case. Okay, so I showed you my purple bottoms before. Here they are, here's the purple. And this is the top that I got from Target. I thought, I don't know if this is age appropriate, but I'm gonna live my life like Rihanna style. And I, oh my gosh, it's actually perfect. I love it so much. I love the ruffle detail. I thought that was so cute. And listen, if I'm gonna wear a top that's like this revealing, I gotta cover up as much as the rest of my body as possible, okay? I just thought this was super cute. Obviously, I bought it, so I thought it was cute. And then I saw this bright pink one. I kind of went overboard with the bathing suits. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them all. I need to like narrow things down, but how could I not with the bright pink? What bottoms am I gonna wear with this? I don't know, I don't know. I. I Actually, it was on the Lily Pulitzer website the other day and I almost ordered a Lily Pulitzer bathing suit. Don't follow anyone because it's $300. Obviously, I can't spend that much on a bathing suit, but it's not just a bathing suit. It's a bathing suit top. It's a like t-shirt, like a cover-up t-shirt and shorts. Like, I'm sorry. Plus, I get 20% off from on my first order from Lily Pulitzer because I've never bought anything brand new. I almost did one time when they were having like a crazy, crazy sale. I almost got a bathing suit, ironically enough. But then by the time I like put it in my cart and then thought about it for a couple of hours, they were out of stock. And I was like, oh, man. Every, it's meant to be, you know? Ooh, another one with this. This is why I got this because I thought, oh, a cute little cover-up. I love having a little, what's this called? Not a shawl, it's a sarong. That's what this is. And I thought the colors of this were just amazingly perfect. I loved this color too. And I love wearing a sarong. Okay, short story long about why I love sarong so much is because when I was newly postpartum, my body was completely different than anything I had ever known it to be. And I went to Adventure Island for the first time after I had Avelina. She was like, I don't know, a year or two old, whatever. So I see this woman, the woman across the room, just, you know, prouncing around. There was like no one at Adventure Island. It was like a really off day. And plus it was several years ago, many, many, like 12 years ago. So this woman, I see her and I'm like, oh my gosh. And she has been in my head ever since. I don't know her, I don't know her name. I can't picture her face, but I do know what her bathing suit looked like. And it was monochromatic, it was green, and she had a sarange. And I was like, that is it, that, can I be her? So now I feel like, while the colors are not monochromatic, I love wearing sarong. I've been wearing them for a couple years. I found a black one at the thrift store a while ago, and I just love it. So, I gotta make it work. This one may be a little small, but I do like it. Just gives you a little bit of extra coverage. And I ended up actually getting two. I got one in this color because, you know, I'm a neutral baddie. And why I actually got it was because I got this bathing suit too. I told you I went overboard on the bathing suit situations. I don't know if I'm trying these on for you or not, but you have to tell me like yes or no. Like, is this a bad decision? A slash, do I need a bigger size? I tried this on and I was like, ah, I don't know. But apparently I liked it enough to buy it. But I also am like, I, uh, you know, like, is this, is this it? I feel very disproportionate in this, but I don't know. I have some feelings. Ooh, also, wait, what? Oh, okay, so if the one piece bathing suit isn't it, I also got this and I didn't try this one on, so I don't know how at all how this is gonna look or if it's gonna be way too small now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know. And I got this one. I loved the color of this one. I can't remember how it fit or if I like the fit. Wait, th these are different sizes. Why did I do this to myself? Oh! What? I bought the wrong one. The beeping! I bought the wrong one! Oh my heck, oh my heck, oh my heck. Why did I do that? This isn't gonna fit me. I thought I bought a medium. I must have put the wrong one back. I did, I had a large and I put the large back and then I went back to the fitting room and I said, oh, I left my, my, anyway. Say la vie, and I got this one too. I love the color of this. I love, I love it. Do I love it? You know what, I'm just gonna eat Reese's after that. A Reese's bunny. 
Those are from my Easter basket. You know what's cool? Is that when I went to TJ Maxx, let me show you, it's so creamy. They gave me a little cooler bag. <laughs> and I said, you are feeding my addiction with this. A reusable bag. I try not to buy reusable bags. You guys, I have so many. But it was free. How can I say no? There's no fun in saying no. So uh, I, they gave it to me and I was like, well, thank you so much. It's like a little lunchbox. Oh my heck. Well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me while I show you all of my busted budget for Easter for the holidays. I just spit probably have chocolate on my face. I'm a mess and a half. So I'm glad that you're here hanging out through all of it. Now I have to like set up their baskets and uh, we'll figure it out. I hope I gave you some good ideas for your kids Easter baskets, especially if you have littler kids. Check back with me because I will end up getting a few more things for my bigger kids and I'll share that with you too. So I'll see you next time. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you later. Bye.